Hello, this week we're talking about group and organizational theories, and I'm talking about the structure theory. Um, basically, this has to do with implicit and explicit rules creating structure within a group. The system would be the group, and then the structure would be the rules and resources that the group uses. Groups are first created, and then they become recreated once they set in motion their rules and resources which determine how they communicate. Um, there is a sense of power within groups. Somebody has the power and they are the person to oversee all the rules. And basically the rules are why we do what we do. And then the resources can be allocative or authoritative. And in my life I have experience with two authoritative resources which would be reward and coercive. I experience reward in the classroom where the teacher has the power to give me a good grade on an assignment. So I'm going to do my best to get that good grade. And that gives the teacher the power over me, as well as the rest of the classroom as they're trying to get a good grade as well. So the teacher has the power there. Um, I would relate the coercive to my job. Um, basically, your manager, your boss, has the power to write you up if you don't show up to work, which is going to be a punishment. Because if you get written up three times, you're going to get fired. So basically, that's just going to make workers want to show up so that they don't get punished and they can keep their job and they can do a good job. So basically, that gives the boss the power over the group, which is the employee. Um, if I was to give any advice over this theory, I would say basically just to play into the power. If there is a punishment, a coercive punishment at hand, avoid it. If there's a reward at hand, try to achieve it. And I think in the end, you will do better in your group and you will do better in your own life and feel better about yourself.